I'm Dan. And I'm Robin. We're the Ramblers. This is the official end. The official end, right. There's a couple of other ends. And this is at um, Olympic and Lincoln in, in Santa Monica. Right. And this is the official end because in order to have a sign, you have to have a highway going into another highway. Right. You have to lead you into another highway. That is what we, the explanation we read. Yeah, and <laughs> that goes into Pacific Coast Highway. So right now is the end, one of our ends of our Route 66 journey. Oh, and I am crying. <laughs> We made it. <laughs> we made it. So there it is, the official end of Route 66 westbound. And over there is the beginning of Route 66 eastbound. We put on almost 5,000 miles because of some side trips and 37 days from beginning in Chicago to the end in Santa Monica. Maybe it's a little ironic, but the closest place we could find to park is on Michigan Avenue. Look, Michigan Avenue intersecting at Lincoln. What can be better than Michigan and Lincoln? Oh, good karma. Okay, we're on Ocean, heading towards Santa Monica Pier. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We're here. We're here on the pier. We're here on the pier. Ready to walk our last yardage uh, of, Route of Route 66 for the uh, big photo walk. Right. All right, I'm ready. Some people call this the spiritual ending. Of it is the spiritual ending. Hey, walking down the little ramp here into the pier. Here we go. So excited! Oh, by the way, this merry-go-round right here was in the sting. We're on Santa Monica Pier. We are? Yep, and there's Indeed. the pretend sign, the unofficial sign, the photo op sign. That's right. At the end of the trail. It's the one that a lot of people go by. Yeah, yeah. and we did it. <laughs> we, did. we did. We are actually in a line to get a picture taken by this, but I, I don't think everybody did the work here. We'll find out. So we're going to wait in line and get our obligatory picture. Bye! Where, Dan? Seventh and Broadway, which is another end of Route 66. All right. The end before 1939, I believe. The sign is right under that 
last S in the word Ross to the right. It's a blue sign and says Route 66, 7th and Broadway. We are done with our Route 66 and we're driving along Hollywood Boulevard. There's some stars on the sidewalk. <laughs> right there. Stars. Some stars are just waiting for your name, Brock or Jake. Right there. That's a blank one right there. We're at the intersection of Hollywood and Vine. And there's the Capitol Records building. Here's the Hard Rock. Oh, look at there's, is that Iron Man or somebody? Okay, here's the Chinese theater. Oh my God, this is just a hoot. <laughs> look at all the people. It's literally taken us a half hour to go about a mile. There's Kermit, oh my gosh. Driving down La Brea, and lo and behold, who do we see on the roof? It's Kermit. This is the Jim Henson Studios. So excited. Kirby! Apparently, the Jim Henson Studios was also the historic Charlie Chaplin studio uh, in 1917. Holy cow. So there is Charlie, the little tramp, and down here is a signature. <laughs> Tower. Dun dun dun. American Film Institute. Do you know anybody who went there? It's right there. Did you forget about it being there? It wasn't there when I went there. Oh. It was in Beverly Hills. Oh, that's right. We're heading to Tam O'Shanter for dinner, and the view is quite lovely. Yes, isn't it? Very snowy. I'm in front of the Tam O'Shanter, and this is the place where Walt Disney and his animators would come and have lunch or dinner almost all the time. And Walt Disney actually has a table inside of here and hopefully we'll get to see it. It's kind of cute. It's like an English pub. Okay, there's Walt Disney at the 35th anniversary party of the Tam O'Shanter. Now I'm sitting at the bar. This is where Walt might have came up and bellied up and had a scotch with crushed ice with a friend or two waiting for his table. I'm sure he didn't have to wait long. Hope we get to see the table. Are you a little excited here? We got the Walt Disney table. It says right here, this is where he frequented often with his Imagineers. I actually got the table at the Tam O'Shanter and I'm sitting where he sat. <laughs> right over here. Oh my gosh, I gotta get some light on it. Robin is beside herself with a small Disney table. Okay, here are some of the sketchings that Imagineers made. There's a dinosaur, a palm tree, there's a spaceship, people, there's another dinosaur. Imagineers at the TAM, table 31. Sitting right where I'm sitting. This is Walt Disney's favorite restaurant. They called it the uh, Disney Commissary because he and his Imagineers ate here so often. And we just ate at his table. But the design was by a Disney collaborator. Um, and he helped design this. And rumor has it, legend has it, that this was the inspiration for Snow White's little cottage. And part of Pinocchio's on the journey of Pinocchio in Disneyland. We are coming up on the Walt Disney Concert Hall, built in 2003 or four, and for $130 million. And the parking structure costs $110 million. It's home to the Philharmonic and the LA Corral. And Lily and Disney donated a slew of money for this in Walt's name. I just gotta point this out. These very, very expensive condos are very pretty and they're literally at an interchange at the freeway. So you can sit out on your balcony and enjoy your vino. Exhausted. We got part of Los Angeles behind us and right here we find yet another muffler man. What's his name, Dan? Sorry, I'm 
Sergio. Sergio, Sergio. He's in front of another auto place. He's empty handed, but he's a handsome dude. Yeah. From Van Nuys, California, we're the Ramblers. Okay, we're at the end of the pier, as far as you can actually walk. So, we've been over the water for the last. Um, well, as far as I can go out into the Pacific Ocean, right there. I can reach farther. You can. <laughs> the end. And. Or just the beginning. <laughs> that may be the end of our Route 66 trip, but there's a lot more to come. We have an amazing return journey that starts with Disney Pixar's own version of Route 66.